Open up the first exercise in the second lesson, t2.1-exercise-create-layout in Android Studio. Just as before, you'll want to do this instead of continuing with the project you just created. You may wonder why we have you create a project and then immediately ditch it. We thought it was very valuable to at least have you walk through the creation process a couple of times. From here on out, we'll be starting with projects where we'll have already done a little work for you. We're going to create the layout for our GitHub query application. There are lots of steps here, but of course there are also plenty of to-dos to help you out. You've done some of this before. We're going to start by replacing the constraint layout with a vertical linear layout, which, as we mentioned before, is useful for stacking views. We're also going to remove the text view, add some padding, and clean things up a bit. Then, we'll add an edit text to our linear layout. We'll give it an ID, set the text size, tell it to wrap its content, and give it a hint. A hint is some text that displays when the edit text is empty. It indicates that they should use this view to type their GitHub query. Now let's add a text view to display the URL that we're going to enter. Since we need to access this text view from Java, we'll give it an ID. We'll also set the text size, tell it to wrap its content, and give it a margin to make things prettier. Next, we'll reuse something we learned from the previous lesson, how to make text scroll. In this case, we're going to just make part of the layout scroll. To do this, we'll add a scroll view to our linear layout and place a text view inside of it. We'll set the text size of that text view and give it an ID so that we can get to it in Java. Speaking of getting to those views from Java, let's go to main activity and add member variables for our search box edit text, our URL display text view, and our search results text view. One thing to note, if you get red squiggly lines under text view and edit text, simply hover over them and click option and return on Mac, or control and enter on Windows to have Android Studio add import statements for you. After we've declared our variables, we find each one of these views by ID in our onCreate and set them to the member variables. Notice that Android Studio is once again warning us with those red squiggly lines. To fix this, we need to cast the generic view returned by find view by ID to the type of view that we expect. In this case, either edit text or text view. Finally, let's remove the unneeded reference to the constraint layout library from build.gradle. Once you remove the reference, Android Studio will warn you to sync the project again. Go ahead and do that. So now it's your turn. Create the GitHub query layout and attach it to your Java code. Have fun!